An artist in northeast China, Shenyang City, has been working hard to preserve a traditional art with creative themes and innovative materials. Take a look. Kan Da Wei is a feather painting artist. He has inherited the traditional technique and craftsmanship from his father and grandfather. He has, however, tried to keep pace with the times. Lively feather paintings are all over the studio, where Kan Da Wei works more than 10 hours a day. Kan's father was the technical director of Shenyang Feathercraft Factory, and his grandfather was a folk artist in the late Qing Dynasty. I fell in love with feather paintings after learning it from my father and his trainees. The half relief effect in feather paintings is so realistic; it feels like you can walk into them. Feather has been his favorite toy ever since Kan can remember. Feather painting for the Khan family is not only an art born from love, but also an inheritance that needs to be preserved. But lost its popularity among artists in Shenyang. But Khan established his own studio in 1994 at the age of 25 with his father's support, and has been working to promote the traditional art form since then. His creative designs can be seen on plates, fans, and even log sculptures. Khan also uses internet and online platforms to revive the traditional craft and introduce it to the younger generation. His persistence and perseverance helped feather painting became Shenyang's intangible cultural heritage. The difficulty is the design, which means you need to integrate feathers into your design and use the dye to cover the primary colors of the feathers. Feathers from different types of birds have very rich colors. But despite that, Khan is always looking for ways to keep the original colors of the feathers, so that the works can be more durable. He also mixes and matches new colors to make his creations more colorful. Khan spends lots of time and effort to create his artworks, from composition and selection of materials to creating the final design. Shen Li, CGTN.